How's it going everybody? In today's video, another Sanguine Alchemy video, but this is one that I did say I was kind of looking forward to this episode because of all of the Stasis Artifact perks. This is Wicked Implement, Stasis Sanguine. As you know, Wicked Implement is a 4-tap scout rifle when you don't have any damage boosts applied. You need about a 4x surge to make it 3-tap. Consistently and almost any resilience. When you pair this with Sanguine, you get a 4x surge, you get a 10% weaken, and then you also have the ability to extend that damage even further, because Sanguine, when you get a kill in a rift, extends the duration. And then Wicked Implement, every third headshot, or after the first three headshots, let me rephrase that, now you apply slow. Due to one of the fragments that you have, I think I have it equipped. I guess I don't. I guess I left that off. But uh, anyways, there's one in here. I think it's... This one. Refraction. Defeating slowed or frozen targets grants you class ability energy. Which I'll apply and I'll play another one here just to be sure. Gives you some more ability energy on weapon kills. Pair that with the... Was it classy? No, served cold from the artifact perk, and now you have the ability to summon a ton of rifts because this is about 10%. Refraction is about 10%. So you just keep stacking rift upon rift upon rift. All day, every day. It's a blast. Doesn't really matter what your secondary is, all of your gameplay should, generally speaking, be primary based because your primary is what's matching your super. Other than that, here's the artifact or the mods. You saw fragments there. I've adjusted a few different ones between games. This will be the third game. The shards will be second game. And first one, don't even ask me what they were. I don't remember. It was more of a frost armor based melee setup, which I didn't really do because we're playing from range. Otherwise, fashion is the same as it's always been. Something quick, simple. I like the look. It looks very nice. Alright, but with that being said, dim link will be down below. As shown off in the gameplay, fragments will most likely be mentioned for each game accordingly. Let me know if there's anything you would change. And yeah, if you want to play the games with me when I'm running crazy stuff like this, Discord link is down below. And with that, I think I've spiraled enough. I'll see you in the gameplay. Have a good one. Alright, we got dissonance. Sanguine Alchemy Wicked Implement. Wicked Implement paired with the Artifact and the Fragment that both give you ability energy for your class ability for either picking up shards or getting kills on frozen or slowed targets should allow me to keep my Rift up nigh indefinitely. Just a matter of seeing how many times I can cast it. Alright, we're gonna go straight for the zone. I don't want to be here. I want to be over here. Zone a Enemy zone C. Cast the rift. Keeps them off the zone for a second. Mark the target. There we go. Keep myself out of the line of fire for the smoke here, and look for my targets. Right to the left. A good suppressor grenade, honestly. Alright, another rift. It's a Herod C. Color me surprised. I didn't think people still used that.
Beautiful work there. And there's another rift. Put the rift down. There we go. He's marked for another seven and a half seconds. Well, that makes me sad. We got a Wish Ender. We've got a Vex. Vex is actually kind of fun to fight. Wish Ender bows in general are not fun to fight. Infinite ammo, two tap special weapons. If they still took leading their shot to land and hit said massive damage, I probably wouldn't be so annoyed with them. It's the fact that they're just so forgiving. That's where my issues stem with that weapon type as a whole. Nice. I wasn't watching for the right of me. How close am I on the next one? Not very. That's fine. I can take advantage of my teammate's rift. Oh, it's already gone. I must have cast blood magic right there at the last possible second for that rift. Depending on where that goes, it gives me one hell of an opportunity here. Keep pushing forward. Alright. While it may have hit, I'm not going to sit around to try and fight that. It's just not what I'm in on. We're going to rift up here. We're just going to sit around and watch for zone A. There we go. Alright. Timer should start about now, I think. Just about on time. I missed. Disappointing. But by the time my rift comes back, or goes away, I should say, it's already back. So if I put here, theoretically, this should be the right spot. Because we're going to have some pushing on that angle there, maybe some on this side. Noted. I'll be honest, I didn't think that would work. But it did.
Oh. That was a beautiful rocket. All right, cast right here. Turn around. Drop back to our spot. Rift is gone. There we go. Honestly, beautiful work. Rending, I think, would make that a little bit more consistent, but you know what? By itself, that was good. See you tomorrow. Alrighty. We got Bannerfall, so I guess we can sit outside this time and just see about taking full effect of... Sanguine Alchemy today. Took me a second to remember the name of the exotic. Hm. Alright. Running with rending this time, as in the previous gameplay you will have seen without rending. So this time we should get more stasis shards tracking to us more consistently. Grab that. Make for the platform here. Drop down. And rift. Throw that over. That should force his hand a little bit. In the meantime, though, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot that a bit. Dang it, my earth's gone. Nice. Good on him. Alright. We start the cycle again. This time we're also doing it where when I kill headstones, I will also get my ability energy back just a wee bit faster for my grenade. Oh, that was too close. I'm good. I'll let you do that for a minute. Give me right there. No, it's not. What? He's not there. Surprised. That works in my favor. That blocks off the top door there. Far back. I'm getting a tree stump. So I can do this. Cold denial. Very well done. Can't disagree with it. My aim and positioning were... My positioning was not great. Being behind the tree, it puts me open on both ends of the field. But from that point, I could also do some really nice stuff, assuming I land my shots. It's rough fighting the Graviton with this. A one second TTK versus a point eight now. Free buff Graviton, I can actually fight pretty well. But as long as he's hitting shots, he's gonna beat me in TTK every single time. One complaint if I shoot the top one, why doesn't it kill all of them below it? You have to sh shoot two of them to consistently break all of them. Your better tool is your long range. It's 
going to slow him a little bit. Sounded like it was a matador. Most likely a matador, considering everybody's favorites. That or now a prophet of doom. afraid of that. I need to hit my precision shot on him, but I did not, so that's unfortunate my reality there. Anybody else up there, teammate? No? Nobody? Cool. Rift here. There we go. Beautiful workmanship there. Alright. Radar. They should be spawning behind me here. They're not. There they are. They were a little slower than I expected. Ah, too far away. That's okay. But that does mean I'm out of a rift, so I can't continue my shenanigans of three-tapping everybody by going outside here. I gotta get some rift energy back. I mean, some headshot kill. Oh, alright, there we go. Oh. I guess I was doing too good. An excellent game. A good follow-up to the previous one. This is why I use rending. It makes my abilities just that much more consistent. See you tomorrow. Alright, this should be the third and final gameplay for this setup. We're running Whisper of Refraction and the Served Cold Artifact perk, and that should allow us to get some insane uptime on Rift. But as you'll see in the previous two, you already have some pretty quick uptime. This should improve that even more. Alright, let's go. I want to be somewhere where I can see a lot of different locations, but I don't want to be too close either. So I think realistically I want this next wall over here. Because if I do it right, this will give me the space that I need. Wait it out a second. Put the rift. Ooh, that was... yikes. Alright, well that is an unfortunate little instance there. I might be weakened, but I'm not out of that fight. Your 
There we go. I'm gonna post up here. They are really hesitant to push anything, aren't they? I hate that I can't turn green ammo opacity down. That right there. As you can see, we've got our rift back already. around far enough? Not quite. So that rift is not much use to me other than that first kill there. I about to say, as long as my teammate stays put, he should be fine. Looks like he did not do that. That, or they just swarmed over top of him and he couldn't do much of anything at that point. I have no idea how I ended up getting that, but okay. Alright. Somehow I'm still alive, even though I looked at three snipers in the face. Guess we're going for the melee. Anybody? No? Okay. Back to the other side. Not yet, I guess. There was one bold enough to try it. Okay. Did that not track him at all? I guess not. That's why though, right there. Glad they took that out pretty quick. Golden gun. I knew I was expecting something else to be there as well, but I wasn't expecting that. Jump up and around. Nobody? Guess not, alright. You push me. Oh, 
We're playing very bored now, that's for sure. Can't hardly fight him. No power ammo. Oh, that's not good. I hate the delayed reactions on those. Rifts. Nice. Frost armor. Slow. Nope. Not getting away from that. I don't like spawning with special. Take it. GG's hands across the table. That match turned really slow, really quick right there in the middle, but we did get a couple nice instances of getting a lot of rift energy back. Well, that, I'll see you tomorrow.